get into some quail. You are gonna need everything you see here. So that is some chorizo and big, big thing is smoked paprika. So to start, we're gonna make a pot of rice. I always use vegetable stock because it makes the rice so much better. Boil it, put a lid on it, and boom, you got rice. Next, we are gonna wanna mince some onion, garlic, mushrooms, and finally, red bell pepper. This is all gonna go into the rice, so make sure you cut it nice and small. Then we're gonna throw that chorizo in the pan and we're gonna start rendering out all of that goodness in there. And once we get there, we're gonna throw our veggies right on top and start giving it a quick stir. Once they're kind of incorporated and you see the onions take on that orange glow, we're gonna throw that smoked paprika on there, followed by our rice and then a little bit more of that smoked paprika. So this is very similar to a paella. And it's beautiful in itself, could be a dish or a side dish. Next, we're gonna get our quail. These little devilish birds are very difficult to work with if you have fat fingers like me. But we're gonna stuff that rice mixture inside our quail and then throw some toothpicks in there. Make sure that when you're done stuffing, the lady crosses her legs. We'll then grab some toothpicks and fumble around a bit trying to figure out where on earth we wanna stick this until we finally make a decision and get our quail completely sealed up. Once we've done that, we should have some beautiful specimens like this that we're gonna then salt and pepper, and then right back into that same pan that we did our rice in, we are gonna throw the quail inside and then be terrified. From there, we're gonna fumble around trying to flip the quail until we finally succeed and look fantastic for all of you viewers out there. And from there, we're gonna pop it into a 350 degree oven after this, you are going to put some more of that vegetable stock in a pot and with whatever you want. I did some turmeric and paprika and then pour it right over top some couscous. Again, just get right over the top and then because you don't have the lid to the pan, throw another pan on top to cover. Lastly, we are going to make some orange supremes. So to do this, you just peel that skin back very delicately, just like you would be peeling a shrimp. And that's just going to be a garnish and add some sweet acidic to the plate. And here we go, folks. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel, please.